Hi, so uh, welcome to this quick video about how you can use heart rate and power combined to get a better insight into your training. Now, first of all, got a new laptop, so the production quality on coming videos is going to be significantly better than the old, sc old school videos, and um, I hope you're very excited for it. But first of all, we're just going to go through some, some classic ways of figuring out how you're actually getting faster or not. So first, we're just going to use efficiency factor and decoupling. So I've got the Training Peaks website up here. Joe Frill basically says efficiency factor um, is normalized power for us uh, divided by average heart rate. And it basically tells you, I guess, like how much heart rate you're putting out compared to the power. And obviously, the higher that is, the more efficient you are. So let's say if you had a one to one ratio, then if you're doing 130 watts, your heart rate would be. So if your heart rate was 130 watts, your power you'd be doing was 130. Let's say somehow you're two, you'd be doing 130 watts and your heart rate. So heart rate 130 BPM watts 260. And decoupling, I've gone through this before, but it's basically the difference between the first half and the second half. So you divide the power through and compare the first half and the second half of the power. So it's not too too difficult to understand. So we're going to go through some of my files. Um, first of all, we'll just do we'll do this one. So this was supposed to be four hours, but I was, I've got uh, my MV cracked um, and I couldn't ride all the way home. Shout out to old John for giving a lift home but we look here and you can see power to heart rate 1.75 percent so basically the same so that's good to see um efficiency factor 1.45 so our normalizer was 205 and our average heart rate was 141 so so not too bad um and that shows you you know it was decent um if we then go in let's say the 19th of july so this was before you can see for this hour it was a six hour ride so i've decided not to use the second half because it's not as useful but the power to heart rate was significantly um worse 2.89 percent but also the efficiency factor was 1.39 so it was 0 0.06 lower lower so you can see i was more efficient luckily uh in september than i was in july as my obviously my peak was october so that again shows you pretty substantially that i'm getting fitter and it's quite a good way of comparing over time now if we look when i was really flying in 2019 you can see it at 260 watts for an hour and 22 and my heart rate was 154 and here you can see my efficiency factor is 1.71 now that shows you that I was way more aerobically fit. The power to heart rate is a bit dodgy here because my heart rate monitor um, starts to starts to freak out. If we show it, you'll, you'll see there's some dodgy readings towards the end. But for this part here, you can see aerobically I was way fitter in 2019 than I was in 2020 at any point, which is obviously understandable um, because I have quite a bad crash. We didn't know, but anyway, ignore that. It's just a good way of showing your progression. So that's one way of using it. Um, the next one we're going to do is to do with intervals themselves. Um, and then afterwards, we'll go into recovery rides and see, to see if you're rested. So this, again, is pretty similar to endurance rides, but I think it's it's just interesting to show the um, the stress. So again, we'll, we're going to compare two workouts this year and uh, one from last year. Um, so this was a recent ride. It was five hours. I did three. Well, they're supposed to be 20 minute efforts, but the middle one was a bit soft. But we'll, um, we'll go through and you'll be able to see the sort of difference. So the first one was at 284 watts, average heart rate 181, so quite hard for me, and max 186. Um, and if we if we zoom in here, um, you'll be able to see that the, the heart rate goes up quite a lot um, towards the end. Like it's pretty steady, but it does go up. Um, so that was quite hard. Then we look at this one was 290 watts. Um, so if we unzoom and zoom back in, um, you can see again this is quite hard as well, um, and heart rate was still rising towards the end. Um, and you know, like you can start to get the point, you can see, all right, so you know, if I'm doing 290 watts, that's getting towards close to my threshold, I reckon. Um, threshold's apparently 310, but I think it's I think it's significantly um, different. And then if we do the last one, you can see 273 watts is way more comfortable, 175 heart rate um, average. And this was after a lot of kilojoules. Um, if we if we unzoom here, um, you'll be able to see it was a a lot of a lot of kilo, kilojoules before i don't know why it's being so silly because um, my mouse doesn't work um there we go so if we look at this it was like two and a half thousand kilojoules i think it must have been or more yeah two and a half thousand kilojoules and i did 270 watts and you can see my heart rate was 175 so not too bad um and if we compare this then again to july uh and you can see so the first 20 minute effort we did was 271 watts Average heart rate 167, so you're like, oh, maybe he's not as fit. But then you have to think that was after two and a half thousand kilojoules, and my heart rate was average 175. And then if we did another 20 minute here, you can see my heart rate went up to 172. So you can see, like, 
obviously the second effort was hard, but you can also see that in terms of fitness wise, I am faster now because my heart rate's not as high. Obviously, there is one thing that I'm going to say is that heart rate does change so much, so it's not the best thing to use. So on this, it's, it's sort of harder to say necessarily, but it, it's quite interesting to see. But then when you compare it again to 2019, um, we did a very similar workout, three hours, uh, five hours, sorry, with three 20 minute efforts. First one, 293, heart rate 168. And so that again shows you there's a significant difference um, to like my power um, compared to last year, um, which is understandable. Again, this was 290, heart rate 170, max 175. So real quite comfortable. Um, and then I was a bit soft on this one because I was, I was feeling a bit tired. But again, this, by comparing previous efforts, especially at tempo, I think it's really interesting to see your aerobic development, like hopefully development throughout the years. And then it also allows you to really dial down where, what intensity, you know, you really start to. So if you know that like here, for instance, I have a pretty good indication of where, you know, roughly my threshold will be based on my heart rate, based on these 20 minute efforts and stuff. Um, and I think that's, that's quite an interesting way of doing analysis more than just saying, oh, I can do more power. It's, oh, I could do more power, but then how does, how does my body respond to it? And obviously the other thing to mention is how, are you, how are the sensations, how are you feeling? Because that's a very big an important part of training and I think I used to neglect it quite a lot but I think now I really do think like how is my body feeling on this and going more I mean it sounds so classic but more on feel in terms of the fact of like you know I can be doing some efforts and I could be hitting the numbers but if I feel terrible then it's like okay yeah maybe I'll be a bit more rest or sometimes it's the opposite you feel really good and you can't do the numbers and it's like again why is that uh and then the last one is just just to see if you've recovered so you know this is I'd say is a stereotype uh, a classic uh ride for me uh an hour or so at 150 watts just real easy heart rate you can see 114 so really nothing hard it hit 145 towards the end because i think i was being an idiot probably doing some sprints or something um but yeah like 150 for 130 heart rate and that's like when i can see that i'm like pretty pretty happy that you know I, I, everything's good um and then if we look at like this week let's say um you'll get to see so here it was 152 watts for 118 heart rate which again doesn't sound crazy but it's like four watts higher i'm probably fitter now and then today was just okay i had a bit of time off um it's in i'm back in london so the data is just horrendous like look at this but we get a couple laps around here and you can see it's like 140 watts for 129 heart rate like that that means i'm very very tired um and that really i i should be on a rest week which i am but it is just quite interesting for me to like look at that and be like oh wow that that is significantly higher than i thought it would be um and another way you can tell us on like these intervals here so you, you know i'm doing like 45 second surges and you, you can see like the heart rate here the way it oscillates up and down this also shows that you're you're responding to training because your heart rate's really like it really is going up and down like if you were just really waxed by this point let's say you know it's end of a six hour ride at the end of a 20 week 20 hour week at the end of a three week block let's say your heart rate would just go straight up it'll barely come down because you'd be so tired but you can see here um in all my efforts um like you know the heart rate goes up and down as the power goes up and down which is what you want to see um and even on the last interval here um again uh, if we click zoom here you can see the heart rate it does obviously i'm getting more tired so it just does go more straight up but even so you can tell that um i was definitely um like good good freshness on this effort um so anyway that's that's all i've got in store for today if you've got any more questions about training or whatever or any video ideas just just let me know um i'm more than happy to do them and uh yeah it should be should be a good old winter um my training is looking good and uh we're going to be whacking some big numbers next year so cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one